Hi, my name is Angus Junkin, founder of Botana World and inventor of Soil Wand. Today I want to talk to you about weeding in mixed beds. Specifically, I want to talk to you about working in ground cover. We've got a lot of lily of the valleys here and um, we've got weeds growing in between them. I also want to talk to you about using Soil Wand to get those weeds out and also why Soil Wand is such a great tool for slopes because that's a really unique attribute of this tool. It's got enough length that you can get into the slope and get the work done from a standing up position. And at the same time, it's light and easy to wield when you're in an area where you've got to work around things and, and work in between plants and so on and so forth. So just a great tool for that uh, application. And we've got one right here where we're working on a slope. We've got Lily of the Valley here, and we've got some uh, creeping buttercup that's worked its way in here, some grasses which are very fine and hard to get out and the root systems get in there and you gotta kind of tease them out. And that's why Soil One's such a great tool for that. This is the Diamond Cultivator tool head and it's configured in sort of a trowel based configuration. We also, because the tool is adjustable, you can change that angle. And in here you can see, this is the Diamond Cultivator tool head in more of a sort of precision weeding um, format where you can come in behind the weed and you can pull it out. You can use your body, you can use your leverage to get that tool out. And in this case, we also have the push-pull rake hole so you can go for broader areas that don't require precision weeding and you can use it as sort of a scuffle weeder. So you've got a lot of options here in the tool. In this case, I think this is the best format for a slope uh, because I can work up and I can stand up. And I like to say this is really a great assist tool. When you're working in fine garden beds, when you're working in areas where you need precision, uh, it's just a situation where you, you have to find um, a tool that will assist you because you have to get down on the ground. You have to get between plants. You have to do all that stuff. And that's where Soil One comes into play. One of the things I like to do is you should wear gloves when you're using the tool, but I do like to keep one hand free. In this case, I'm gonna keep my left hand free. That's my sort of weed pulling hand. And then my right hand, I'll have a glove on here when I'm using Soil One. I can use it um, to kind of tease the weeds out and then finish them off with my, with my hands. So let's get started here and give you an example of using Soil Wand in a mixed bed. In this case, it's full of ground cover, Lily of the Valley, and a few other plants in here as well, uh, working around some azaleas and stuff. So this right here is the Creeping Buttercup, which has a really tough root system. It's really hard to pull out um, a lot of times. It just kind of breaks off and you don't get the roots. So you need something. And traditionally you'd use like a dandelion weeder. And that's just a tool that's you know really tough on your wrists. It's short handled. Uh, you gotta reach way down. And Soil One gives you that extra reach that you can use in a situation like this to make the process very comfortable and very efficient. And so let me go ahead and just show you. I can just go ahead and kind of stab it right in here. And then I pull in with my other hand and I get the weed out, roots and all. Again, Creeping gutter, Buttercup is very invasive likes to spread out and kind of just take over an entire area. And then you can work up here, for instance, and go after this grass, it's sort of a fine fescue. And again, you know, you could pull it and a lot of times you just end up breaking off the plant or the weed without getting the roots out. So I can lean into the slope. I've got the reach with the tool and I can just go right in there and just lever everything out. And just by loosening it up, I can just go right at it and get it out roots and all. So. It's out, and then I can move on to the next weed, whatever else I want to get out. Here's some more creeping buttercup. And it's just a great tool for loosening the soil up so you can get that weed out, roots and all. It's just incredible. And we'll just work up the slope here and pull out some of these plants that we don't want in here. So you can just see how kind of efficient it is and it's easy to work with. If you want to get out things that maybe you want to keep contained or you just want to kind of get out of the way. Of course, I didn't bring my weeding bucket, but we'll at least make do. This is some spirea, which is good, but we just want to kind of keep it at bay. And you can just get in there and get those roots out. You can see there, just a great tool for that purpose. So we'll just work through this bed, get out the weeds that we don't want in here, get them out. I'll make a little weed pile over there. There's a dandelion, you can get that out. You get the tap root out. That's what's so nice about this. Just very efficient. So if you're a fine gardener, if you're a landscaper, you know, if you're, if you're someone that has to work in, in areas where there's lots of ground cover, maintenance crews at universities and parks and things like that, it's a real pain to get in with a hoe or another tool because you just can't really do that without damaging the ground cover. So in this case, you can get in there 
and you know really sort of snipe the weeds that you need to get out and just do it without disturbing everything else. So it's a great tool for that purpose. So that's where Soil One comes into play. Diamond cultivator tool head set in a sort of, I call it the trowel position. And it's just a really powerful tool for both digging and, and pulling and levering things out. Uh, and it makes your life so much easier. So that's it for today. Uh, thanks for listening and uh, see you soon.